Style Wars needs no introduction for those who have seen the film. For those who haven't had the experience, it is the indispensable document of hip-hop culture from the early years. And it's also a dramatic portrait of New York City in those same crisis years. Broken glass everywhere. People the Bronx ablaze, city bankrupt, citizens and public officials at each other's throats, while the youth of the city gave birth to a cultural movement that took the world by storm. I'm Henry Chalfant and I'm visiting LA. And uh, actually I came out to LA to screen my film Style Wars in its restored condition. And it's a film we made back in the early 80s about hip hop in New York, graffiti artists, break dancers, uh, DJs and MCs to a lesser degree, but it, it's more about the visual art and the dance. It's probably the first filmed documentary about this subject, and it's still alive today, 30 years later. I moved to New York in 1973. And so I had, I had fresh eyes and I was riding the train to work every morning and seeing new stuff. And I thought, I wonder if you could take a picture of this. But of course it was in the tunnel and it was there with terrible pictures. And it was only like years later, probably three or four years later, when I went up to Uptown and I saw that the trains ran outside. <laughs> And I thought, aha, <laughs> now I can catch pictures. So I began what became a real obsession for about, I don't know, seven or eight years. Ah. That's, uh, I was... So you actually have a serious picture collection. I have a serious picture collection. I have over 800 train cars, which are painted. So Isabel, why don't you tell us a little bit about the job you do? I think it's very important. I don't know. Thank you. But the job you do and some of the issues we've been dealing with today and, and the connection these 30 years later that you have with Henry. My name is Isabel Rojas Williams and I'm the executive director of the Mural Conservancy of Los Angeles. And uh, it happened to be that Henry came to Los Angeles to show us his uh, uh, restored film, Star Wars. So I was there, you know, to watch the movie and to talk to Henry because to me, as somebody who is uh, working to restore and to document the murals of Los Angeles is kind of embarrassing that we do have a 2002 mural moratorium. We just came out of a meeting from City Hall uh, with the Plum Commission where uh, the uh, city council members were deciding what's going to be the future of murals in LA. For 11 years now, our muralists haven't been able to paint legally here and they had faced, uh, in certain cases, jail, and they had faced fines. So I wanted to ask from you, tell me, what do you think of this issue that we are facing in L.A.? Well, first off, I couldn't believe it. You know, I remember L.A. in the 80s and, and the 90s, and I remember the fantastic murals that were all around the city, and, you know, not only the ones in support of the Olympics, but in neighborhoods. And I used to wander around and I caught some pictures in various neighborhoods of, of you know, murals. It wasn't graffiti. I mean, I'm known for capturing graffiti, but, you know, there's some absolutely beautiful murals. So I couldn't believe when I heard there was a moratorium uh, against painting murals in L.A. It just didn't seem you know, possible. Because here was this city that had produced so much beautiful art. And they were, you know, cutting off their nose to spite their face. So I was shocked. Uh, but there is an issue that we are uh, talking to each other and trying to agree with each other where uh, murals are not allowed in single residences. Mm -hmm. So to us, you know, it's a difficult issue because uh, traditionally in LA, in the underserved communities, uh, murals are painted in single residences. So this is the issue that we are facing mm -hmm. and I would like to know your opinion about this. and. I think, I think that, you know, ownership of your own property is an important issue. As it is, people who live in a community are the people, I think, who are the better judges of what they would have in their community and on their walls. 
And I think that with graffiti, that's always been the issue. You know, the city cracks down on them, but it's the, it's the kids who are the citizens in that community. And they have a sense of ownership if they're painting something on the wall. And, you know, of course in LA, if you put a moratorium on your own private residence, that's rather absurd. What yeah. you did, you know, in 81, uh, making that movie that it was uh, so incredible for all of us that uh -huh. followed street art. Yeah. So, you know, to me, the definition of the city, which we claim to be the most creative city in the world, yeah. it has to have all those elements together. Would yeah. you like to add something else to... Just that, um, from my own point of view, uh, having documented graffiti, and of course graffiti, by, by that I mean you can, it, the amazing thing about graffiti is, is that it went beyond just tagging up your name on the wall. It, um, it evolved as an art form. It became more and more and more powerful as a means of expression. And I think that's what drew people to it, even more than just getting your name up. That's why people really got involved in the competition to uh, be the best, fueled it. And uh, over and over again, the people who were involved in those years in New York, they tell me it gave us a voice. gave us a voice we didn't have before so you know well, that's, that's so exactly important and I, absolutely and you know we at the mural conservancy of los angeles we embrace graffiti artists and as i told you earlier here we are you know in a district an art mm -hmm. district where you do have traditional murals there is a yeah. mural here painted in 1992 yeah. and you have you know recent murals that uh, work together because our city it's famous for this diversity that you know where we have uh, incredible religions, languages, mm -hmm. ethnicities, mm -hmm. and in any place, mm -hmm. given place, you see people from all over the world, mm -hmm. and so it's the same with the arts. Uh, mm -hmm. The arts, we embrace everybody, yeah. because the traditional mural is from the 70s, they were inspired by the past, yeah. uh, like the Chicanos were inspired, inspired by the three greats, right. uh, and then now the graffiti artists claim, some of them, that they were inspired by cicadas, because yeah. it was the first one that you and air uh, that's right. right that's right so we do embrace graffiti artists we don't appreciate yeah. anybody going and tagging our right. wonderful murals but we love uh, graffiti but, artists as but well but most graffiti artists who have evolved and you know that i know have been inspired by mural artists let me just say the most amazing thing for me is i would see every you could see maybe 12 cars and the same guy did it yeah. I used to wonder how could they do the whole thing against the law mm -hmm. in the dark maybe. Mm -hmm. I was like <laughs> Yeah. But you could see the whole the guy did yeah. the whole yeah. heavy car. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's usually it's usually a crew that did it. Oh. Maybe not one guy. Oh. It's a crew. Like the Fab Five. They Tell did us some a little bit about them. Okay. Well, you know, New York has always been a city where there were there were gangs before. And then when, when kids started to do something different, they still had their crews. So they're your neighborhood buddies, and you go out to paint with them instead of going out to do battle with some other, some other clique, you know. They, uh, they would paint together. And, you know, there, maybe there was one or two really good artists in the crew, but that's not all you needed. You need somebody to get the paint. You need somebody to watch your back. You need somebody to help you carry stuff in through the yard. You know, so... The crew would, would work on these on these projects together. That's how you had, you know, four or five cars in a row. This is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. So this is Blaze. We had a really great interview just now, but before we go, we want to ask Isabel. Is graffiti an enemy of murals? No, graffiti is not an enemy of murals. We embrace graffiti artists and we love graffiti art. We can work together. So if you want to see about graffiti art and traditional murals, go to our website, muralconservancy.org, 
or go to our Facebook, The Mural Conservancy of Los Angeles. All right. Hey, thank you very so, much. It was a great thank interview, you, Henry. Uh, Style Appreciate that. Wars. Style Wars. Style Wars. Netflix. Yeah. Blaze out. Be on the lookout. Africa Bambada is telling you, Star Wars 2 is coming at you. That's right, I'm at war. I'm war with myself. Wait a second. Star Wars 2? <laughs> If you're feeling alright and you think you're on, somebody let me know. Let everybody in the place put a whistle in your face. Scream it out and say, "Yo, hey!"